Next month, Rusalka, Dvorak's popular adult fairy tale, will be seen live in movie theaters in a beautiful new production by Mary Zimmerman, conducted by Sir Mark Elder. The opera stars soprano Christina Opelias in the title role of the beautiful water nymph, and I'm pleased to be playing the role of her father, the water gnome, for the very first time. I'm going to speak with Christina and Mary in a moment, but first, here's a look at some memorable scenes from Christina's previous live in HD performances in La Boheme, Manon Lescaut, and Madame a Butterfly. Christina Opolias and Mary Zimmerman are here with me now. Hello, ladies. Hello, Hello. Aaron. Christ Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Christina, let's start with you. As we just saw, you starred in three of Puccini's greatest soprano roles here at the Met, but this will be your first Rizalka here, though it's a role you've sung a number of times over your career. What keeps you coming back to her? Well, I'm really happy to, to come back to sing this role. And I, I didn't sing, sing a lot. And I'm really happy to do something else, not only Puccini in this mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. Of course, Puccini is, um, I'm in love with, the, with this composer. But Dvorak is, if I say Puccini is in my blood, Dvorak is in my soul. Ah. So I really feel in a very intensive, in a very deep way, the role, the character, and the drama Rusalka has is very close to me, like I would have it in my life. I, I, I didn't have anything like this, thanks God. <laughs> but I feel everything in a very, in, in a very intensive way. So That's I'm right. really happy to do Excellent. this. Now, Mary, it was really exciting to see the designs for the production when we started rehearsing last yes. week. Would you tell our audience a little bit about your approach to this sort of fantastical story? Well, I mean, I think Rusalka is sort of a director's dream because you get to immerse yourself in an imaginary, fantastical, spectacle world that can sort of be anything and our approach is traditional in that she is she is a water spirit who becomes a girl but you can um, make up that world as long as it has integrity to itself and you get to think how are you going to do foreign princesses and forests and fairy castles and so forth like that all of the world of the imagination excellent now Rusalka is a fairy tale but there are some very dark elements to yes. the story Christina would you Tell us this side of, of this role for you. Oh, yes, unfortunately. I mean, thanks God, to, I'm, not, I'm not dying at the end, in a very <laughs> rude way, at least. Um, but it it's actually has a very dark um, element, because um, Rusalka as a character, she's very pure. She's very naive. And everything what happened with, with her in a human being world is really big tragedy, because uh, as always, also in our life, when you open your heart completely and your soul, there is a somebody who will give a knife in your back. So, and this is what I feel exactly. And actually, at the end, she, <laughs> I mean, always, you know, oh, yeah. this is the reality. <laughs> and uh, this is how I feel. And of course, it's very painful because uh, um, when love is, um, when she understood that the, this love she, she has um, to, to Prince and this world she so much wanted to be in is uh, really cool. Yeah. 
um, the world became, you know, it's be careful what you wish broken. for. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Or yes. any love that, that demands that you change yourself so radically to the point where you take away your own voice. That love is perhaps yeah. not not quite meant to be or not going to have such a happy ending. Well, audiences are all over the world are looking forward to hearing you sing it on the Met stage as I am looking forward to performing with you. Mary, Christina, thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you back in rehearsals on Monday. Yes, thank Indeed. you so much. Right see you on Monday. Absolutely. Thank you,